Imagine you're an adjunct faculty member who is teaching a course for the third time. In addition to this course, you are also employed full time in your professional field. Though this course communicates important skills to learners, increasingly they have been dissatisfied and have struggled to complete it. You would like to improve the course, add some interesting media, and make an assignment that's more relevant, but you just don't have time. You hope that next quarter you can find some time to make the changes or get someone to help you make improvements to the course. As this scenario demonstrates, developing courses within a competency based model can be challenging for faculty and staff. At Capella University, competency based education is the most central aspect of our learning model. So rather than leaving instructors alone to wade through the complexity of course development, we provide a wealth of course development experts. Technologies and processes to support them. Capella supports faculty in a variety of ways, technical and human, to help faculty make meaningful, relevant courses. To show what CBE at Capella means to its faculty and staff, we will walk you through the experience from the perspective of a faculty member at Capella who is revising an existing course. My name is Chris Luopa. I am a manager of curriculum and course development working with the School of Nursing and Health Sciences at Capella University. My name is Connie Wasloff, and I'm an instructional design supervisor with the School of Technology at Capella University. Online, competency based education can seem overwhelming to almost anyone. Consider, for example, the online aspect. Courses should be immediately visually appealing to learners and should provide opportunities for collaboration through the use of social media and Web 2.0 tools. They should integrate seamlessly with technologies that give learners an opportunity to practice through real world scenarios, access professional resources, and engage in these activities asynchronously. Beyond the online format, competency based education requires a significant amount of intentionality. Best practices encourage scaffolding for learners. Course competency should be directly aligned to assessments and offering outcomes. Assessments should be immediately applicable in the workplace while still maintaining academic rigor that ensures learners graduate with a theoretical background to contribute to the field at large. On top of this, Capella has its own approach to ensure curriculum is relevant, aligned, and engaging. We provide learners access to various learning models like direct assessment through FlexPath, traditional programs, and certificates. We have a unique authoring tool that allows us to maintain and report on a cohesive alignment structure, and we create in house media and simulations to make courses relevant to learners. For faculty and subject matter experts, this can all feel like being sucked into a world without knowing the rules or what direction to go. We recognize that some faculty have vast amounts of experience in online course development, but most do not. So rather than expecting them to navigate this new space without support, at Capella we pair them with learning specialists and provide them access to resources and systems as they work to develop quality courses. Course development at Capella involves a variety of people that work to make sure faculty members know where to go in this new world. We start with curriculum definition, where curriculum specialists and faculty define programs, program outcomes, courses, and competencies. Instructional designers and faculty then build courses with the help of the media, library, and course materials teams. Finally, courses are edited and produced so that they look as they should when learners access our courses within our LMS. Our department of over 100 people work with schools and faculty to revise more than 300 courses a quarter. Karen is an adjunct faculty member who is beginning to revise one of the BSN nursing courses. While she has taught Capella courses for over a year now, she has never revised one. She begins her experience with course development with a course she has had recent experience teaching organizational and systems management for quality outcomes. Peter, an instructional designer, will work with Karen on the course revision. He's been with Capella for three years and has been specifically working on nursing courses for the past year. From teaching the course, talking to instructors, and her expertise in the field, Karen would like to update the assessments and find a more engaging way to present content to learners other than just reading out of a textbook. 
In the past month, she has also met with an advisory board of employers that provide insight into what skills nurses who graduate from Capella need. They would like to see learners engaging in more complex situations and courses, so they are prepared to manage competing needs and short time frames when they enter the workforce. Finally, she knows that this course helps maintain Capella's accreditation with CCNE, so it will be important that the course revisions still meet accreditation requirements. With all of this advice, Karen is excited to begin her revision in spite of her lack of experience. However, as she also works full-time as a director of nursing, she is feeling worried that she has signed up for too much as she begins to meet with Peter. Peter helps Karen by performing an initial course analysis, looking at learner performance data, end-of-course surveys, and course alignment information. Peter identifies that learner performance on three of the assessments are low. These assessments do not seem well aligned to the course competencies. Also, both learners and faculty indicate that the course is text-heavy and irrelevant to current needs regarding the impact of diversity on hospital organizational structures. When Karen describes the advisory board's recommendations, Peter shares that they will be able to create a media simulation in the course, which will allow learners to react to complex, real-world scenarios. With their individual course revision drivers set, Karen and Peter are almost ready to dive into course content changes. Before they do, though, they take a step back to make sure they know the role of this course within the larger BSN offering. When offerings are created at Capella, we design offering outcomes that describe the broad skills learners will need to be successful in the field that their degree supports. From there, course competencies are designed. These are more granular skill statements that could be mastered within one course. With the general skills of the course defined, we then create assessments with grading criteria. For each criterion, learning components are defined. These are statements of skill, knowledge, or professional disposition that must be taught in order for learners to be prepared for their assessments. Finally, support activities are selected to teach learners these elements of skill or knowledge. Throughout the offering, there are opportunities to align offering outcomes, competencies, or criteria to external standards from specialized accrediting bodies and professional organizations. These alignments provide an external validation of the relevance and quality of the content. With the larger context of the course understood, Karen and Pete begin by creating course competencies that describe the skills learners need to develop in order to be ready to improve the organizational quality in their institutions as nurse leaders. Faculty members and instructional designers work to distill the needs of the field into measurable statements of skill. Once the competencies are set, Karen and Peter brainstorm a list of assessments that would be applicable to nurses seeking their Bachelors of Science in Nursing. They will pull from Karen's expertise and the literature, and may also engage with other professionals or employers to determine the best authentic assessments of learning. From that, they choose the assessments that will best measure the competencies and allow learners to demonstrate proficiency multiple times. Rather than writing research papers, learners should create artifacts that could be used directly in the workplace. Karen and Peter talk with the media team to build a Capella-created simulation learners can work through while completing their assessments to add real-world complexity and increase the likelihood of learning transfer. With an authentic media piece in place, Karen and Peter finish the assessments by aligning grading criteria to the assessments and aligning them to the course competencies. Though Karen has created all of the elements necessary for learners to get a grade, she has one large chunk of content to develop, support activities. These activities make up anything not summatively assessed in the course, formative quizzes, third-party tools, discussions, and course resources. Of these, course resources can be the most challenging to tackle because online learners are not simply satisfied with a textbook. Peter and Karen work intentionally to list out the skills and knowledge learners must acquire in the course. Each of these skills is aligned to an assessment. Then they choose engaging resources that build proficiency in these areas. 
All of this work would be overwhelming without the proper technology to support it. Capella has created its own authoring tool to maintain course and offering alignment details. This tool makes collaboration between instructional designers and faculty much easier, providing one space for everyone to do their work that is separate from the LMS. The collaboration space will increase the quality and efficiency in course development. This tool also allows us to create a variety of course structures to meet the many different learner needs that we have. Direct assessment, traditional models, certificates, and employer solutions are just some of the types of courses we create, which is enabled by our authoring tool. This powerful tool is but one of the technology tools in the Capella ecosystem. There are a variety of technologies that allow learners to engage with the content, their instructor, and their peers. Though Karen and Peter may be done with their iteration of course development, this does not mean that all the work is completed. Courses are in constant need of monitoring and tweaking to maintain and improve the quality of the course. Capella uses external standards like Quality Matters to objectively verify course integrity. Also, we can constantly collect data through end-of-course evaluations and learner performance data on assessments. These pieces of information can provide instructors with information to identify weaknesses in their current courses. As subject matter experts and faculty are continually pressed to do more, we at Capella are trying to innovate with our processes and technology to ensure that their time is well spent. We look to match a faculty's time and experience with a variety of development models, collaborative, faculty authored, and interview. These models provide faculty different levels of interaction and awareness at course development processes and details. This allows faculty members to use their expertise to enhance courses, no matter their time constraints or knowledge of best practices in online learning. We are also considering other ways to organize and streamline our course development processes. Instead of always following a linear process, we are looking to iterate more frequently design more flexible ways to support incremental changes within courses, and give faculty tools to work independently. The world of competency-based education can be strange and overwhelming to many. But at Capella, faculty members don't have to feel trapped in courses that are ineffective or overwhelming. We encourage our faculty to bring their passion and expertise, even if they don't have all of the information. We will meet them wherever they are on their journey.